Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today I am going to talk about one of the another matrix uh, uh, which is related to the citations and so that is called a cite score. So we will know about what is cite score, how this cite score is going to be calculated and what is the basic difference between this cite score and the impact factor or is it the same thing uh, later on we will see it. So uh, normally uh, whenever we are doing the research or whenever we are talking about the scientific productivity, uh, there are two things we are having. We are having one kind of uh, input and as a result we are getting some output. So normally the in the scientific field or in the research, uh, whatever input is the scientists and their efforts like infrastructures, equipments, lab, uh, then we are having communication tools and all these uh, expenditure whatever we are doing either for the lab infrastructure salary or chemicals or the consumables these are called as inputs and as a result of this scientific uh, we are get i mean scientific work we are getting in the form of publications patents book or book chapter uh, technology transfer ipr and some of the instrument design or royalty earned these are called as output so normally in the scientific uh, community we are uh, having some input and some output but if you'll see how this scientific productivity is going to be measured so there are different way by which we are going to measure the scientific productivity of a researcher or or, you, or a scientist you can call it so normally there are two different basic way we are having uh, where we are going to measure the scientific productivity of a researcher or a scientist is either quantitatively or qualitatively when we are talking about the quantitatively, it is the number of papers published by that particular scientist in a year or in the academic year, you can call it. And whenever we are talking about the quality of the publications, quality of the uh, scientific productivity, that time normally we are going to measure by the citations. How much people is going to follow your work or how much people, uh, scientists or researcher is going to use your work as a so, uh, reference or as a source so they are going to cite your paper so there are different uh, metrics we are having like we are having citations we are having impact factor we are having h index we are having i10 index uh, i have already talked about the impact factor i have already a video on the h index and their calculation their measurement we are knowing about the i10 index today we are going to talk about the citations and in the terms of not exactly directly citation we will talk about we will talk about the cite score so let us learn about what is the scientific citation databases because we are talking about the cite score and that is related to citation so first we should understand what are the different citation database so normally basically broadly we are having three specific citation database from where we are getting the citation or we are collecting the data like a scopus or you can call it the uh, science direct scopus second one is google scholar and third one is web of science so normally these three broad databases yeah you can call it the mostly used databases we are using for collection of citations now if we are going to collect citation from different sources then what is the cite score and from where we are getting it and how we are going to get it so cite score is another matrix for measuring the journal's impact especially in the scopus so whenever we are talking about the cite score means we are talking about the citation related information which is we are getting which is collecting from the scopus that you need to remember it the calculation of the cite score for the current year like if i'm talking about the cite score for this year so it is based on the number of citations received by a journal in the latest four year including this year so three earlier year and the current year so whenever we are talking about the cite score of a journal so normally this is going to include or this is going to consider the four year citation information for year citation data three previous year and one this currently running years or in the year where we are going to collect it the cite score is normally going to be calculated by dividing the number of cite document published in the journals in those four years so how we are going to calculate it so the total citations in the four years divided by the number of journal your yeah, number of article published by researcher in that particular four years so if you'll see the formula uh site a score normally uh, previously uh, site score was taking yearly databases so it was uh, calculated in every years but in uh, 2019 this uh, where site score was released uh, like for this 
June 2020 site as per was released. <clears throat> and there we have a new methodology. What is the new methodology? The new uh, site score counts only peer reviewed publication types and adopt four year information rather than one year. Initially, it was only for one year's information was collected for the citations, but along with the in the new methodology of the site uh, site scores that information is going to be collected for the four years how it is going to be collected so if you want to calculate the site score of a journal in 2021 so how you will do it you have to take the number of citations received by the paper published in that particular journal number of citations received in 2021 and three previous year means 18 90 2018 2019 and 2020 along with the current year for which you are going to calculate the site score so total four years citations to the document published in this four years divided by number of document published in these four years so total number of citation for all the documents published in that particular journal in the four years including this current year divided by number of article published in these four years in that particular journal num document which is going to be considered for the site score calculations are five different types of uh, com I mean, uh, uh, documents we are going to consider what are those documents it is re research articles review article conference paper data paper and the book chapters so these are the five different type of documents is going to be considered for the calculation of the site score calculations. Now the site score is a family, one of the member of its family of indicators or you can call it matrices where we are having eight different indicators. What are those indicators? One which we are going to talk today is site score. Other we are having site score tracker. Then we are having site score percentile, site score quartiles, site score ranks citation counts document count and percentage cited site score we will talk in the details because we this video is related to site score only so we will see later on uh, some other information also what is site uh, site score trackers site score trackers normally provide a current review of how a journal is going to perform during the course of this year and because site score is going to be calculated every month so in a year we are going to have 12 site score trackers data because it is going to be calculated every month if you will see the site score percentile site score percentile normally indicates how a journal ranks relative to the other journals in the same subject field the field is defined according to the scopus field definitions uh, later on we will talk about some other uh, matrices also uh, in another video so let's come to the site score calculation and other things. Now, when you are going to compare the site score versus the impact factor, the site score normally it is a matrix uh, without field normalizations and hence should not be compared with the subject field. Different cite uh, citations uh, practices across disciplines affect the value of the matrix. If you want to uh, wish, if you wish to compare journal across subjects fields, you can use SNIP or SGR rather than site score. So when you want to compare two different journals across the subject fields, you should use different metrics. You cannot compare the site score of that. Site score is going to be calculated annually on annual basis, showing an average citations for a full calendar year and other site score trackers when we are talking about it is every month we are going to calculate it now see the site score versus the impact factor site score calculation is normally based on the scopus data so as already you have seen this site score is normally taking the data from the scopus where the impact factor is based on uh, based on the web of science data so citation data calculate taken into the consideration for site score and the citation data from the wave of science is taken for the calculation of the impact factor. Site score uses four years window. Uh, you have already seen like if you want to calculate in 2020, so you have to take 2020 and previous three years, means uh, 17, 18, and 19. But for the impact factor, we are going to take only two year window period, not the four year window period. 
साइट स्कोर इंक्लूड्स मोर डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप लाइक आई ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड यू कि टोटल फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स वी आर टेकिंग इनटू द कंसीडरेशन फॉर द साइट स्कोर कैलकुलेशंस एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम द स्कोपस डेटाबेस व्हाट आर दोस डॉक्यूमेंट्स दोस डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स द व्यू आर्टिकल्स कॉन्फ्रेंस पेपर डाटा पेपर एंड बुक चैप्टर्स व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंपैक्ट फैक्टर देयर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ओनली टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स मींस यू कैन कॉल इट द ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ साइटेबल डॉक्यूमेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इट व्हाट आर दोस डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट इज आइदर रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स और रिव्यू आर्टिकल्स नॉट ऑल द फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्टिकल्स सो देयर आर थ्री बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द साइट स्कोर एंड द इंपैक्ट फैक्टर इज दिस साइट स्कोर कम्स फ्रॉम स्कोपस डेटाबेस इंपैक्ट फैक्टर कम्स फ्रॉम WS or Web of Science database. Site score normally have a four years window period, whereas impact factor is having only two year window period. Site score considers five different types of documents, whereas impact factor considers only two documents, two types of documents. So these are the basic differences. Now, if you see, if you want to calculate the site score, so like I want to calculate the site score in 2019. So what I will do? I will take the citation in this year. and three previous years means i have to take the citations received from 2016 to 2019 so this is my document this is the citation we will consider so citation received in the four years in the scopus divided by the document published in that particular journal in this four year so this citation divided by total number of article published so this is called as site score which takes information from the scopus and this is going to consider five different types of articles like review article research article conference paper data paper and book chapters at the same time when you want to calculate impact factor which is the web of science based informations so there we are going to have only two years uh, window period and we are not going to take current year like if you want to calculate the impact factor of 2019 we are taking two previous year data like 17 and 18's data we will take it formula will be almost same here we are going to take the citations received in this two year for the article which is going to be published in this two year so that is the basic differences and in this impact factor we are taking only two types of articles which is going to be published find how to find a site score of a journals ranking in the scopus databases so there are few steps how you can find it The first step is you have to open the scopus.com. So go to scopus.com and click on the sources at the top of the page. I will show you the snapshot also. Then under the title, type the in the journals title in the search box and click find sources. So whenever you are going to open the uh, scopus websites, so they here on the uh, top of the right side you can see the sources. You, once you are going to click on these sources. you will get this type of information this is a pop up menu here you can select title you can select articles you can select different way so we are i have selected title and then in this enter title we are going to write the name of the journals for which you want to search it and after that one you have to click this find sources once you are going to click on the find sources you will find the site score of the journals on the page like as a result you will get it uh this type of information informations like you can see here site score is already visible so you can see here citation received in this four years is already given there and how much document they have published here so if you will divide this citations by this 501 you will get this 78 value so this is this comes from the total citation divided by the number of document published so this is the four year period 18 19 20 21 18 19 20 21 okay now so this is how you are going to get it this journals website is a clickable website so you can click on this journal web uh, journal link so you may click the journal title to see more details what are the different information you are going to get it so you can see the site score here also once you are going to click the journal name you will see the site score here you can see the sgr value for that particular year then you can see here uh, how to how it has been site score has been calculated so you can see this this many citation that particular all the articles has been received for which is published in this 2018 to 21 
So this is the formula and this site score is 78. Site score trackers that is for every month we are going to calculate it. So this is this was calculated in 5th July and that is 68.3. This is uh, some of the informations. You can get some information from the site score ranking also. You can get some information from how much uh, paper has been uh, means, uh, into the journal's website. Now, the site score includes only five peer reviewed articles like articles review conference papers book chapters and data papers non peer reviewed documents types such as editorial errata letters notes sort research uh, survey are excluded so even for site score we are going to consider only these five types of documents these are non peer reviewed articles and they are not going to be taken into the consideration now there are some advantages when you are going to use the site score compared to the impact factor to compare to the other matrices so this one is comprehensive second one is transparent third one is current so based on the scopus the world's broadest abstract and database site score matrix will be available for all serial titles not just journals site score matrix could be calculated for portfolios Site score matrix will be available for free rather than impact factor or which is coming from the WS and you have to subscribe it, you have to purchase it. So that, that's you can call it because it is freely available for everyone. So it is a little bit more transparent compared to impact factor. Site score matrix are easy to calculate by yourself by using this form normal formula. The underlying database is also available you to interrogate. And the site score tracker is updated monthly so every year you will have 12 different uh, site score trackers new title will have uh, will have site score matrix the year after they are indexed in the scopus so this is all the information about the site score and how it is going to be compared with the impact factor so this is all about hope you have understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you're not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you want to support our channel, you can click on the thanks button uh, below the every video. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.